Well, I've uh, flipped the tail cone upside down and uh, reattached the um, tail, the vertical stabiliser, so that's now pointing down at the ground. And uh, it fits well now that I've adjusted the, uh, the longer arms, uh, the top pair of longer arms, so that's all in. And what I'm doing now is looking at the instructions here on F21. And the first thing it tells you to do is to put the cross ties in, which I've done. Second thing to do is to test fit the bottom panel, which I have also done. Uh, Clear coded it uh, to the cross members and uh, it fits absolutely perfectly. Lines up with everything, lovely tight fit along the two edges. Um, and I'm really happy with that. So I've taken it off again because the next thing to do is to fit the bulkhead angles at the rear um, in detail M and section KK, which means that we're looking at the um, rear wheel um, attachment bracket. And uh, there's another angle at the top there. That's the aft bulkhead um, which is there so the that's the uh, rear wheel attachment bracket there and then we've got another bracket that goes inside there another one in there and another one in there so we're going to look at uh, this area first whilst we've got it upside down and this is a steel bracket um, so we're going to use that or fit that first because everything else is going to have to be fitted around it effectively because uh, it is the immovable object so that's what we're going to do so I've got it in position it goes on the outside of uh, of the tail and then it fits against the aft bulkhead and there's another bracket here which needs fitting and trilling there's another one in here that needs fitting and drilling so that's what we're going to do um, it's quite difficult because the pilot holes are in the <laughs> in the middle of the sandwich so I'm going to have to mark and drill one first then put the other one in place and mark and drill the other way the same is true for this because one the holes are actually uh, in the uh, bottom of the tail section and we're going to have to mark and drill one way first and then mark and drill the other way second so I've basically got four sets of drilling op marking and drilling operations so uh, i'm going to get on with that get that all in i might when i'm doing these two uh just pop the um, bottom panel on again and pop in the holes so i can clico them up into position before drilling through but uh, We'll see what happens. Anyway, that's what I'm up to this afternoon. So I'll carry on with that. Well, believe it or not, it's taken me two hours to fit the uh, tail wheel mounting bracket. Um, it was particularly difficult to locate the correct position for the holes to go through it to make sure that it was perfectly lined up with everything else and uh, so what i actually did was uh, i did this end first um, because that already had um, well it was pretty obvious where it was supposed to go and uh, can't quite see it in there but uh, it went in nice and square and uh, managed to get the holes spotted through 
drilled them out, Clecoed it, and everything was good. Then drilled uh, the other end, which was a bit more problematic because uh, actually locating the uh, the first hole and drilling it uh, proved to be a bit tricky. And I didn't quite get it right, but uh, because I drilled it smaller, um, I was able to correct it when I drilled them out a little bit bigger. They're still not out to uh, bolt size yet, um, but it's very rigid, very strong, um, quite impressive actually once uh, once it's all clecoed in there. And um, also done the um, bracket on the inside as well. So that's the bottom bracket there this bracket as well and then the uh, mountings for the tail wheel mount so two hours it took to do that bit of a struggle but uh, it's done and uh, i'm pleased with it next thing i'm going to look at is the brackets on the top side um, which are attached to the shear plate so uh, one of them isn't there at the moment uh, it's on the shelf the other one's the wrong side of the bulkhead so uh, I need to take a few things to part get it on the right side of the bulkhead um, also having a bit of a think about the bracket at the bottom there now I seem to remember that uh, I've put some spaces in here for some reason not sure why gonna have to get the uh, the tail build <laughs> drawings out and see what uh, what the verdict is on those why they're there more later a bit more progress yesterday Got the uh, the bottom skin on the tail cone, and uh, it fits beautifully. A lovely uh, join on both sides, no gaps, and uh, so that's in place. And uh, I've drilled through the uh, skin into the bottom long rons, and uh, 192 holes. And uh, everything's square, level, and uh, looking good. I'm very pleased with it. Um, it's uh, ready now to uh, to be drilled out to uh, copper cleco size. And then I shall be flipping it up the other way and uh, sorting out the other side. So the bottom skin is now up drilled to uh, rivet size and drilled out the uh, six places where there are also bolts. That's uh, two at the rear end and four at the forward end. And uh, that's ready for deburring now.